Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. As we take a look at the cryptocurrency markets here on Coin Market Cap, you can see that it is another day in the red. So it looked like after the markets hit double digit decreases across the board yesterday that things were bouncing back slightly but it does not look like that bounce is going to hold so most things are in the red this morning um, you can pretty much see that is a, a universal property right now um, there are very few exceptions so today i want to focus on a couple of coins that are in the mid cap range so i'm going to look at those as coins that are in the sub one billion dollar market cap range that's pretty much a, a crazy market cap to be thinking about at this point that that is what the the mid cap is now um, but that's going to be my rationale um, before we get into anything just want to say i am not a, an investment professional this should not be taken as financial advice always do your own research so going down into the sub one billion dollar range some of the interesting coins here that have been higher at times uh, you'll see things that have moved around a lot as well as some of the newer coins the first one that i would like to focus on today is zero x so 0x is currently sitting at a market cap right around 850 million. There is a total supply of 1 billion ZRX, and this is an ERC20 token that is designed to um, be a, a decentralized exchange. So what you can see in the broad scope is that the price has gone up substantially since December. This has also had a large increase in volume. If we take a look at the actual charts, I'm looking at the one day charts on Binance where you can see the 50 day moving average here in pink, the 15 day moving average in blue. You can see that right around the 8th of January we had this big candle going up and since then have been able to more or less hold those levels going sideways so this had been a nice trend going upward through December and now things have tracked along with the 15-day moving average now this has been a great price action for 0x and in my opinion, decentralized exchanges are going to be a big player in 2018. However, for the short-term play on 0x, it does look like the price may be getting relatively overextended. You can see the difference that we're seeing the, as the 15-day is pulling away from the 50-day and if these prices are to fall below the 15 day i think we could see a large pullback in 0x the, the relative strength index is also looking somewhat overextended we saw that as we had this increase in on january 8th with the large green candle interestingly it was actually already pretty high before that happened but that was core that was associated with an increase in volume the volume is now tapering off a little bit and so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a bit of a pullback here so to get into 0x if you're looking to establish a position here I would wait to get in here um, on a pullback rather than buying in at an all-time high which you can see is where we are um, over since going back to September on 0x. So altogether a great project but probably fairly expensive right now. So let's go back to coin market cap and go down the list a little bit more um, and one other coin that I would like to focus on today is Pivx. So in full disclosure I do have a small position in Pivx 
it is currently sitting at a market cap of 518 million and the circulating supply is just above 55 million PIVICs. So PIVX also benefited from the market run-ups in late December. We saw a big jump in price, but in a somewhat different manner, coming into January, we have already seen a bit of a pullback. So let's look at the actual charts. So this is what I am looking at um, going into um, December. Things had, had run up, then there was a bit of a pullback, and things have kind of stayed in a narrow range. So this is starting to look post December. This is starting to have a bit of a triangle formation. I know this is a, a bit of a, a crude drawing on these lines, but just to show you how things are setting up here. Um, if we look at the 50 day moving average, you can see that in December, when there was this run up, we did have a cross of the 15 day moving up. That's when we started to see it, a better price action things moved up. But since then, as we've seen a bit of the tapering off, um, everything has continued to hold above the 50 day moving average. And you can see on drawing this triangle that the 50 day moving average is actually following a very similar pattern as this line. And so I would expect to see some continued price action to the upward direction if PIVX can hold above the 50 day moving average. So the other thing you can see is that the RSI is right in the middle of the range right now. We're not seeing too much overextension, which is what tended to happen after there was this big run up here. So right now, PIVX is um, kind of moving in the sideways direction, but setting up nicely for a potential move up if the broader markets can support that. So one reason that I am interested in following PIVX to see if it can hold that 50 day moving average is that the roadmap for 2018 looks fairly interesting. So in addition to creating this deterministic ZPIV wallet where um, backing up a ZPIV seed users will have the ability uh, to have a full backup of any ZPIV that is minted. It's pretty interesting what they're trying to do with the zero coin protocol. There's also going to be ZPIV staking. So proof of stake for their zero coin, um, which currently you can only stake on the regular PIV. So um, that's one nice aspect of PIVX is that it's a proof of stake coin. And now both the zero coin and all PIV is going to be proof of stake. There's also going to be an iOS mobile wallet. And I'm not going to go through everything on the roadmap here, but I just want to point out that there are a lot of interesting developments that the team has planned for 2018. So the one thing that I think is probably most exciting for PIVX is similar to 0x. There is a ZPIV decentralized exchange called ZDEX that is planned within the next 12 months. So again, consistent with this idea that decentralized exchanges are going to be a big part of 2018. This is actually planned for Q2 in 2018. So I think this team has a lot going within the next six months or so. So I think PIVX is definitely one to keep an eye on in 2018. And in particular, in the short term, I'm just watching to make sure that PIVX can hold above this 50 day moving average. If that is the case, then I think we could continue to see some upwards price action. So that's the quick update for today, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.